everybody, and welcome to the Quantum Dot Multiplex Theater. Today, Lil and I are going to tell you about our exciting future in nanotechnology. By the way, Lil, what would you like to be when you grow up? Gee, Dot, I don't know. What are my choices? Well, there are already a lot of Quantum Dots in the clothes people wear, sports gear, solar power cells, and a lot of us are even getting into healthcare these days. Now that sounds interesting. I'd like to help people be healthy. How can I do that? Hmm. Well, let me see if I can make it easy for you. We're nano-sized particles that have very special, downright surprising characteristics at our small size. How big is nano? Well, we can't be seen with the naked eye or even with the kind of microscope that you have in your school science lab. Let's see. I'm about 7.2 nanometers wide, and if you lined up about 3 million red quantum dots like me, side by side, they would be about the width of the human thumb, or about one inch. Wow, that's really tiny. What are we made of? Quantum dots can be made of various elements, but our tiniest building blocks, our atoms, are arranged in crystal formation. That means they're put together in organized, repeating, geometric three-dimensional patterns. And we're semiconductors. Great, I'd love to drive a train. Uh, well, no, what that means is that we're excitable. And when we get excited, we emit energy, which can make us glow. So that's why I glow sometimes. Well, why are you red and I'm blue? Think of it this way. A semiconductor is in a little box, and if it's squeezed down even more inside that little space, its energy changes. As for quantum dots, depending on our size, we can give off light energy in a full range of fashion colors. Maybe watching this movie will help. think so and so do healthcare researchers. So how can I help people feel better? In a lot of ways. You see we're very clever. For example we can play James Bond here in the nano world by attaching us to certain biological tracking devices like antibodies. Researchers essentially program us to find specific cells that are sick. You mean like cancer cells? Yes, that's right. And when they use different colored quantum dots at the same time and program them to attach to different things they want to observe, researchers can see how molecules interact inside cells. And then they know more about biological processes inside the body. This multicolored technique is called multiplexing. That certainly is clever. But how do we get inside cells? Depending on what they want us to do, researchers give us a special shell or coating that works like a molecular key to get us inside cells where we can do good things. We can deliver drug treatments or genes, and this is the really cool part. When we're built to work in sick cells, we can treat them without hurting any of the healthy cells. Just watch this. Thank you. 